Okay, so in this tutorial, I just wanted to run through how we can work with connected clips with a view to not deleting them when we change or remove clips from our main storyline here. Okay, so how do we delete a clip on the main timeline without actually deleting this connected clip? Now, this will work whether you've got one layer above your main storyline or whether you've got multiple layers above here. So these techniques will work for both those kind of scenarios. So here, just to keep things simple, I've got a couple of titles that you can see here above my main storyline and we're going to have a look at three different methods of editing the main storyline while keeping these titles or other connected clips which could be videos images etc um, intact and in place within the timeline so the first one is if we want to remove a clip from the beginning of our sequence okay but we don't want to remove for instance this second title here we can actually connect this clip to the, the second clip. So our connected clip at the moment here is connected to the very first clip in the timeline here. So if we bring our playhead ahead in time here, then hold down the Alt or Option and Command key on our keyboard and click once, then you can see that the connected clip is now connected to the second clip rather than the first clip. And you can move this around to wherever you like. So we can move it back to the first clip by clicking here or to the second clip. And this means that now if we delete the first clip will remove that one title that was uh, there before, but we won't remove this other title that's now connected to the second clip. Okay, so I'm just going to take a couple steps back to where we started. Okay, so now we have both clips once again connected to the first clip. Now, if we want to remove the first clip, but actually keep all these titles in place until, for instance, we find a replacement clip for this first clip. And we can remove this clip and replace it with a placeholder clip. Now, there's a couple of different ways of accessing this shortcut. Okay, but basically what we're doing is a, a lift edit and then a delete. So if we go to the edit menu with that first clip selected and go to lift from storyline, that clip will be removed from the, the main storyline and replaced with a, a placeholder or a slug. So basically a, a black clip that will keep the connections to that main storyline so that when we now delete this first clip, those connections remain in place, okay? And we can go ahead and replace that clip when we found a clip that we, we wanna replace it with. So if we drag down a new clip here, for instance, okay, and select replace, then that will replace that initial clip, okay? And we can use the different replace functions. So if we, grab a clip from here, mark an endpoint here, and drag that down to the main timeline and do replace from start, it will replace it and fill that um, entire space. So you can see now we've kept everything in time by using the lift and then delete and then the replace to replace the clip, okay? So there's really a couple of different methods of replacing your, your clips. And in particular, the, the one workaround or, or trick is selecting this first clip. And you can also right click here to access lift so if you go to lift from storyline or option command and the up arrow, and it will lift that clip, you can delete it and nothing is bumped out of place. That will include any audio that's connected on the layers below. So you're keeping all your layers intact when you perform that lift edit. Okay, I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions about editing within Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel or check out my other tutorials.